lesson, we are looking at five very important words to know. Let's start with the word scam. A scam is an illegal plan or action to take someone's money. It's also too good to be true. So a scam is an illegal plan or action to make money. It often sounds and looks too good to be true. For example, you get a phone call. The caller says, you have just won $5,000. She just needs your bank name and your account number. Then she will direct deposit $5,000 into your bank account. A scammer is a person who steals your money or your personal ID. A scammer also tells you something that is not true. So, a scammer is a person who tries to steal your money and personal information. In our example, the scammer was the person who made the phone call and said, you won $5,000. The truth is, she just wanted your bank information so that she could steal your money. Have you seen this advertisement? It says, get your immigration help here. Quick green cards. Fast citizenship. Buy U.S. forms here. It also says photo IDs, driver's licenses, social security cards. Sorry, cash only. This is a scam or a fraud. No one can tell you how fast you can get your work permit or green card. Also, all U.S. immigration forms are free. You don't need to pay for them. So, you know this is a scam, a fraud. Here are two more very important terms you need to know. Lawyer or attorney and notary or notary public. A lawyer or attorney has a license to represent you in a court of law. In the United States, a lawyer can help you with legal and immigration matters. A notary has a license to witness the signing of important documents. A notary may not help you with immigration and citizenship matters. In some countries, a notario publico may help with legal and immigration matters. But in the United States, a notary may not prepare legal documents or give advice on citizenship and immigration matters. Let's summarize. Watch out for scams and frauds. Scammers try many tricks to steal your money or your personal information. 
If you need legal help, go to a lawyer. If you need someone to witness the signing of your important documents, it's okay to go to a notary.